So you're a weeboos and you like fantasizing about weird stuff and shit. Now how about let's use that imaginative mind and imagine you were hyped for something, had prepared it entirely, but then something just didn't go your way. No no no, that's not the end of it. So you somehow made it with every bit of your blood and tears, only to be ruined by a single scratch of action like this. Yes, PA Works has delivered a hidden gem, skip and low for this season and it feels like a refreshing slight breeze. And no, I'm not saying this because I'm a fan of the studio, but in a season where a handful of sequels released and strong contenders taking the spotlights, it's sort of the underdog here and there unless you really dig into it in the community. But because I was getting FOMO, I fell into the hole and thank god I did. Now, what special do I think about Skip and Loafer? Nothing really. But can we all agree that a show doesn't need to be special to literally shine? The story simply follows country girl Iwakura Mitsumi who is full of ambition and excited to live her new city life. Although then she gets into obstacles, the former finds positivity to be just what she needs to stay on track. And I'm glad they made it clear to Shima's perspective. Not only him actually, characters like Mika or the punctual student council member whom I can't even remember the name of, which makes the narrative feel all the more organic and the impact on the characters feel real to themselves. Shima Sosuke on the other hand is your typical Ikemen that seems like his life can go wrong one bit but boy was out drinking when he was a kid and he brought a freaking girl with him for God's sake. And yeah, this and that happened which I'm not gonna go into because I'm an anime only. So him being this somewhat awkward person inside is the opposite of what Mitsumi is and so far that friendship is the highlight of the show with how broken he is enough to become the motivated and rather go with the flow. He sees her as this kind of light in a way he is currently lacking. Mitsumi as a person is filled with the perception that life goes on and trying her best there is. Which we can say and fortunately for us it has been stated by So too that this is what innocence is. It's a great approach narratively to see this from his perspective, someone who basically has been beating himself up and avoiding things in regard to his past, who is mostly someone we can relate to, is actually a perfect way to convey the key message of this show, positivity. What, are you expecting me to say something else? Yes, the show does have further details on a deeper look like the theme of adaptability or identity seeking, but if we just pull the scope, all of that will come as how we take life in a more constructive manner, especially the chemistry those two have. Fun fact, even the first episode's title, Sparkling and Fresh, contrasts the rest until episode 11, titled Type and Excitement, which starts the story of their cultural festival, while the rest of the episodes have rather unpleasant words chosen. Coincidence? I don't think so, but maybe I'm just thinking too deep here, so yeah, that can count. It's the simplest yet something we often do not aware of because usually, usually, we are too fixated on being perfect and wearing a mask so that people can see what we want them to see, without realizing that sometimes trying too hard on ourselves can end up being redundant. And the protagonist here happens to be the antithesis of that. She is a rather innocent, happy-go-lucky optimistic individual who obviously is nowhere perfect. I mean the girl can be clumsy and at one point she was feeling down but then realized how endurance is essential for her to be able to dust herself off in positivity. Like man, this is easily my anime quote of the season if it wasn't for Oshinoko. So yes, live your life with positivity and be genuine. You don't have to be that innocent or absolutely straightforward person, but it's really fine to be honest with yourself and with the people around you that perhaps care for your well-being. That's in fact admirable, because that's what this anime has taught me so far. It's simple, nothing special, but hey, again, it doesn't become less impactful because of that. Thanks a lot for watching and consider supporting me by subscribing cause that helps a lot really. Also, please do me a favor and add how you feel about the editing on my last few content so I can make sure it's enjoyable. It's Euthorian, until the future comes.